Good afternoon, ladies and uh, gentlemen, and uh, indeed it's a great pleasure um, to present uh, to you um, this afternoon. Um, the title of my presentation is uh, Taking the Lead in Stakeholder Capitalism. Um, um, the reason this is a virtual presentation is that we are a digital first organization and in line with our strategic differentiator of being a force for good, um, we try and participate virtually as much as we can um, so that we do not contribute uh, uh, to greenhouse gas uh, emissions uh, as much as we used to. So we're trying to lead from the front. Um, moving on to the the safe harbor statement, um, there are forward looking statements and uh, of course this is important. So please read this at your leisure. Um, I want to start off with uh, let's call it um, pre 2021 and um, and then from 2022 onwards in terms of the overall theme of this presentation and um, and starting off with um, something that was tabled at the 2017 in Darba. Um, it was developed in 2016 and that was the um, the concept of a modern mining company and I think uh, we have moved a long way down this track. I'm not going to go through each point, but we set out seven points that are necessary uh, to become a modern mining company. And um, and of course, um, you can see on the, the right hand side of this co column, um, we believe we've we tick all those boxes and um, and you can see um the delivery we've we've made in each uh, in each area of course there's still there's always room for improvement uh, there's always still some way to go um there isn't a, an ultimate destination uh, but there's a journey and i'm very pleased that as a company um we have certainly at least um established a very so solid foundation as a modern mining company um in terms of the creation of long term sustainability, I think it's well known. We started uh, life uh, as a gold company that uh, actually only had five years of life. Um, I'm very pleased to say today, um, uh, nine years later, that uh, we still produce a million ounces and we still have uh, 10 years of life. And uh, that's what can be achieved when you run these uh, natural resource companies in a in a responsible way. Um, more importantly, we've secured the long term employment of our 30 odd thousand uh, gold employees and we'll continue to look after their well being. Um, in terms of um, the next two sigmoid curves, um, we acquired loss making uh, PGM assets in South Africa uh, from 2016 onwards. And again, we've saved many jobs um, and we've invested in the long term sustainability of those operations and of, of course, in terms of our business. Um, we've also now been through a period of geographical and commodity diversification, and all of that uh, creates a more robust and uh, and sustainable business. And uh, more recently, you can see from the fourth sigmoid curve, we've uh, we've now moved into battery metals and we've developed our um, green metal strategy. So uh, that foundation is solid and we are very proud of it. Um, I want to just again refresh our ethos um, and talk about the Sabanya Stillwater tree. Um, this was developed in 2013, uh, was well ahead of its time. Um, the values of the, the company are embedded in the roots. Um, our current 85,000 employees uh, form the trunk of this tree and um, and then of course to develop a a, a healthy tree uh, we need profitability and that's really defined by safe cost quality and volume from our um, our business of mining the canopy of the tree which provides uh, protection to the tree itself and to the individual um, uh, areas of that tree is made up of uh, the majority of our stakeholders uh, and the environment. Um, and you can look around that tree and um, 
and you can see the the groupings um, and of course if this tree is is healthy it produces fruit and the you know the fruit um, you can see from an environmental point of view is clean air and water uh, for shareholders it's total returns um, in terms of community it's upliftment um, uh, from an organized labor point of view membership from employees uh, better lives and I'm going to cover each one of these fruits that this uh, this company has de delivered um, from 2013 uh, into 2021. Um, and again, I'm not going to go around the whole tree, but um, early after the development of the tree, our purpose of why we exist as a corporation is that our mining improves lives. That's what we believe. And again, I'm going to demonstrate that very clearly um, uh, through some th through some simple uh, slides and our vision is about creating superior value for all stakeholders and we have certainly done that um, through this period from 2013 up until 2021 and of course I want to share with you our refresh strategy which we did at the end of 2021 and I'll do that later on in the uh, presentation so that's how we think about uh, business that's how we think about our company and that's our purpose and vision. So let's have a look at how we did. Um, and uh, um, the slide um, uh, that you see now delivering on our 2021 strategic pillars. Let's just uh, re refresh those strategic pillars. Uh, we're really about building a value based culture, focusing on safe production, optimizing capital allocation, prospering in South Africa and building an operating portfolio of green metals. And right at the core of that strategy is embedding ESG excellence as the way we do business. Um, that strategy um, or those strategic focus areas have been particularly successful in delivering the results you see on the left hand side. And I'm not going to go through each one of them, but other than to say we de delivered record earnings, 68.6 billion rand of earnings. Um, we had we delivered 80 per, 88% higher uh, free cash flow of 37.4 billion. Um, we've restructured our balance sheet and our debt. Um, we've returned significant amounts of cash uh, back to our shareholders um, and we've advanced our green metals uh, strategy. Important to look at the pie on the, the pie chart on the very right hand slide, side of this slide and you can see that our original asset has very little uh, contribution to the overall company earnings um, and that's a, tra a remarkable transition um, as I said from a, a set of assets that literally had five years of life uh, to where we are today. Um, so let me let me share with you, starting with ESG, um, how we've embedded ESG excellence. You can see many of our um, the credentials and recognitions we have received. All our operations uh, are ISO 45001 um, certified. Um, the majority of our workforce is vaccinated against COVID-19. Uh, we've been re-included in the Bloomberg Gender Equality Index. Uh, we have a very clear path to carbon neutrality by 2040. We've made good progress since we've uh, owned the, uh, the the Morikana assets on the renewal process. We'll be sharing more of that during this year. Uh, we've received an A rating uh, for water security, a B rating for climate change, um, zero level four and five environmental incidents and uh, we've successfully integrated ESG measures uh, into our long-term incentive program. So I have no doubt that we are a force for good um, that ESG is central to the way we think. As I said, I would show you uh, the fruits of the tree and, and how we've uh, been a leader in shared value. And as you can see, the step up from 2013 to 2021 uh, 36,000 employees to 85. Wages and salaries have gone up from 6 billion to 26 billion. Those are the first recipients of shared value, well ahead of shareholders. Um, 
our investment in, in training has uh, gone up to just under a billion. That's upliftment of our employees and communities. 2.2 billion has been spent in 2021 on socio-economic development and corporate social uh, initiatives. That is the sharing of value. And then, of course, uh, the taxman gets his cut. 18 billion rand have gone into taxes and royalties. Very, very significant socio-economic shared value. Um, as you can see, revenues increased by 790 uh, percent from 2013 to 2021, 326 percent increase in salary and benefits, and 110 percent increase in socio-economic development and corporate social investment. So very significantly shifting the socio-economic uh, transformation. At the very lowest levels of the organization, I also think it's important that uh, that over and above salaries and wages, our social and economic compacts have resulted in profit sharing and employee trust schemes uh, paying out in 2021 alone, 523 million to 46,460. Five employee, employees, and you can see the beneficiary or the profit share scheme uh, listed um, in the table below. So again, a, a very clear indication of the sharing of value. Important uh, to measure the overall performance of the company, and if you look at uh, total shareholder returns, this is both share price and dividends. I'm very pleased to say we have outperformed what is really a high quality group listed in this uh, slide. And we haven't just marginally outperformed them. We have significantly outperformed them. So to me, that is a, a testament to the overall measure of our ability to, to deliver um, shared value. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what now looking forward. And uh, as you can see, um, we are wanting to, to really differentiate, differentiate ourselves and adapt to this changing environment through our green metal strategy. So let's, uh, let's look at this. We recently did an environmental scan and, um, and, and this slide um, shows you the, the environmental issues that we can all expect to face uh, in the next decade. Um, if we think that COVID-19 is over, there are more pandemics to come. And we use pandemic here in a, in a much uh, broader sense than just a virus. Uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is a pandemic. Um, the gray elephant of aging, um, people are getting older. We need to adopt, adopt and adapt our workforce um, uh, thinking to, to compensate for that. Uh, the angry planet, uh, in environmental um, change is, is important. Inequality is one of the biggest problems across the world. Big squeezes, the, the, the lack of commodities uh, for battery metals is a good example. Every one of these grey elephants um, drives um, or creates angry people. Multipolarity, this division that's occurring between the East and the West, and then, of course, intelligent advances such as blockchain technology, um, uh, digitalization, um, artificial intelligence. So, so, so when when we do this uh, environmental scan, we can identify these grey elephants. And uh, a grey elephant is a highly probable um, yet neglected catalyst of. Um, uh, uh, of a of a force for change, and um, we use COVID nineteen in our company to drive uh, many many changes uh, and improve our ability to to operate. But COVID nineteen was known; it was ignored. Um, as I said, we've we've used the pandemic as a catalyst, and uh, these are other grey elephants that have been identified and have been incorporated into our str strategic thinking. What I want to say is clearly our, our previous strategy before we refreshed it uh, late last year has been very successful in our delivery and therefore 
there are elements of it that we should not forget and we should incorporate into our thinking, but they are givens now. They are not the differentiators. They are important foundations or essentials for what we do. And you can see on this three dimensional strategy page, um, you can see our foundation, our purpose, our vision. Um, they have been refined slightly, but the vision still creates uh, and, and focuses on shared value. We've added a, an additional uh, value to our CARES values, and we now talk about eCARES, and that's innovation. Uh, very important. Strategic essentials go without saying. Uh, safety and well being. Um, prospering in every region in which we operate, uh, operational excellence, making profits, and embedding ESG as the way we do business. Those are essentials, those are givens. What is going to differentiate us are these four things. Being recognized as a force for good, an even higher level of ESG thinking, building a unique portfolio of green metals and energy solutions that reverse climate change, being inclusive, diverse and bionic, and uh, being instrumental in building pandemic resilient ecosystems so that we are not uh, negatively impacted and disrupted and we can continue operating through uh, these uh, pandemics. So that's our three dimensional strategy. And let's uh, just check that, um, that those strategic differentiators cover that environment that I explained of the gray elephants. And I'm not gonna go through this um, slide line by line, but you can you can see every gray elephant is covered at least twice, if not three to four times by the uh, strategic differentiator. So this is a very intentional evolution of our um, original Sabanya Stillwater strategy. Um, it's clarifying our fundamentals and essentials, but it's defining what is going to differentiate us looking forward now. And I hope, you know, at an Indaba in five or six years time to be able to present what have we achieved based on this refreshed uh, strategy. The unique portfolio of green metals is, um, is pretty well known. It's a combination of PGMs, uh, battery metals, gold plus uranium, uh, and then, of course, the combination of recycling and uh, and tailings retreatment. That's the, the portfolio that we want to put together. And uh, when we talk about a global portfolio, very nice to see how the company has grown in Europe, in France, Finland, um, how our investments in the United States have increased. Um, but nice to actually achieve what we set out to, to be a South African champion uh, playing on the international field. So um, that has always been um, what we we wanted to do. Um, I'd like to just then conclude and, um, and hopefully the key takeaways um, you would have already come to is, first of all, we're a modern mining company. That foundation is well established. We're driving shared value in a responsible and a sustainable way. We are exceptionally well positioned to supply critical green metals for current and future energy requirements. Uh, we've been adapting the business for the anticipated shifts in the commodity applications, and we can demonstrate sh significant share price outperformance. And um, with that, I would like to conclude and say thank you for your time.